Pastor Jason with yet another leadership update for all of our One Way leaders. This weekend is our last weekend doing our epic summer here at the main campus with the movie theme. Starting um, the first weekend in August, we are going to be doing Contentment, and that's going to be a two-week series. We're cutting that down. And then in September, we're actually also doing a two-week series on um, and cutting that one down on respect. <laughs> Get back up, Mike! Get up! Get up! Get up! <laughs> In between there, from the middle of August to the middle of September, we are we're going to be doing a four-week series on Jonah, and that's going to be in conjunction with what Mike is going to be preaching on to the adults. So as the adults are hearing it, we're going to be teaching it to the kids, and the preschool is going to be covering it as well. So it's kind of going to be a series for the whole family. Uh, Pray for me because Katie and I are developing that. Now, if you have a passion to develop lessons for children, uh, if you feel like that you're created as a teacher or that the Lord might use you, call me as soon as you are done watching this video because I need to get some of this stuff done before I go on vacation, which brings me to the next thing. I'm going to be leaving on Monday evening to go on vacation for two weeks, so I will not be in one way uh, the weekend of August 5th. And I will be only there Sunday morning and not really doing anything. Francisco's going to be running things the weekend of August 12th. Crap, I'm on my way out. Mm, yes. Anyway, you could also be, so be praying for that because I have to get a bunch of stuff done in the next few days. And creative stuff and just thinking through lessons. And I want it to be good and I want the Lord to be in it. So please be praying for that. Also, a um, couple more things to be praying about. Uh, we are going to be launching our small groups again, August, uh, I'm sorry, our official small groups are going to launch again the third weekend in September, that's going to be September 15th and 16th. Um, the week before that, we're going to be doing a pool party, kind of to launch the year with all of the parents and get them involved and get them informed as to what's going on. I want to, them to meet their kids' small group leaders at that pool party. It's kind of somewhat of an open house. Um, that's going to be August Nine. It's going to be a Sunday afternoon, and I want everybody there. Wednesday night, Saturday night, 9, 11, East, I mean, Lincoln Leaders. Excuse me. I just got four wisdom teeth pulled just on Monday. That was two days ago now, and I'm still recovering them in no pain. Praise the Lord. I prayed and asked the Lord that I would not have to, but it's just I have to not talk too much, which I'm doing a lot of right now. So, anyway. Uh, so mark your calendars for September 9th for that pool party. It's going to be in the afternoon. Time will be announced later. But I need all of you guys there. Mark your calendars for the 16th. That's when we're going to launch our small groups. Be praying. There are some things I want to do in our ministry I'm thinking about doing. One of those is splitting the younger elementary from the older elementary and basically creating two services on Sunday morning at the main campus. So 9 and 11 o'clock, the idea would be you know, do one group with large group. Or the other does small groups in another area on campus, and then we like for 45 minutes each, and then we flip flop for 45 minutes each. To pull that off, we need substantially more staff. And so, right now, I, I'm going to ask all of you, I'm going to challenge all of you, be praying that the Lord will send us the right leaders for one way this year and more leaders. But we don't just want warm bodies, we want people who are called to this ministry by God. They might not feel like they're called, they might be like me and say, I don't want anything to do with kids, but but God's called them, so they're supposed to be involved in it. Um, maybe they're interested in serving with kids, but God doesn't want them here. So we want to hear from the Lord. So pray. I want every single one of you, look at me in the eyes. I want you to pray and ask the Lord to show you if you have anybody in your life who's supposed to be involved in one way. Yes, yes. Recruit new leaders, you will. Pray for new leaders, you will. Mm, yes. And, and just asking and seeing what the Lord might say. And then I need all of you guys to confirm with me whether you guys are going to be back for this next ministry season. So it's going to be September to April. Uh, we want leaders who are ready to invest in the kids. And we're going to try to think of creative new ways to do that. The truth is I'm figuring it out. You're figuring it out. But I do know this, that relationship with an adult, that's, that's you, works um so much more significantly than just teaching by itself. We want mentors. We want people who know these kids. People like Debbie Parks and Nisha Patton. People like Liza, who is leaving us in a few weeks. Um, who's been amazing. Who's been faithful. Who's been invested, not just in the ministry, 
that in specific kids and is born fruit. People like Justin Watts who gets involved in the lives. So it's like that's what we need, and that's what we need you to be. So we're praying not only for that, but for your for new leaders, but for yourself. That's in order to prepare your heart and to get you ready. It's gonna be good. I'm excited to have you guys back. I'm eager to see what the Lord is about to do. And and I want us to get back in motion now, beginning of August. Um, something else I need you to do, mark your calendars for Friday, August 24th, and Saturday, August 25th. I can be gone and you will. August 24th, 7 to 8.30. Oh, yes. August 25th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hi. And I need all of you guys to plan to be there. If you're serving in one way, I want you to be at this. This is called The Gathering. It's a leadership training and, you know, it's a leadership forum for the whole church. All of our ministries participate in it. Uh, Friday night and Saturday morning will be everybody together. And then Saturday afternoon we have some breakouts. Where we get to do one-way specific training to get us ready for the year. And I want us to be equipped, not just to call, but equipped. Um, so I need you guys to be there. I want you to plan and mark your calendars to set apart that date, those dates, August 24th and 25th. It'll start... I think it starts at 7 o'clock on Friday night, and it starts 9 o'clock Saturday morning. We'll be done by 4 in the afternoon. Um, but it's going to be good. It'll be worth your time. Okay, we go and you will. I'm worth it for you to be there. The cost of that is going to be to be determined. We're going to be probably giving everybody a T-shirt and a book to be reading for one way, and so I'm going to have to have you guys invest a little bit into that, but I'll let you guys know as I figure out those details. Um... Anyway, I love you guys. I'm excited. Be praying for this Jonah series. Be praying for the end of the epic this weekend. Be praying for um, the right leaders. And and one of the things I think we're going to be starting to do moving ahead is I think I'm going to have an open forum prayer meeting uh, 7 until 7.45. Or, no, nah, that's probably the wrong time. 8, and let's say 8 o'clock until 8.30 every Sunday morning. Yes! Oh, God, with me. But if you guys want to come and pray for one way, we'll start this Sunday, 8 until 8.30. And if you want to show up and pray with me, I would love for you to pray. I think I would like you guys all to come to that at least once a month. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll fill that out as time goes on. I want to have a chance to pray with you guys and along with you guys. So, anyway, I love you all. I'm so thankful for your ministry to our kids. I'm... Mm, I cannot think of anything else. Anyway, let me pray for you guys and and then... I'll see you guys soon. Jesus, would you continue to move through the, these, these guys' lives? Get their hearts ready for ministry. Get their hearts ready for the next season of what you're going to be doing in one way. And wherever they're at, whatever they're struggling with or going through, Jesus, I pray that your favor is going to rest on their lives, that you're going to bless them. You'll keep them in Jesus' name. Amen.